All right, it's finally time to talk about the rarity collection. I know I waited a little bit, but I just didn't want to do any like rumors or anything like that. I wanted to wait until the full set list came out and I can give you guys my thoughts as a collector as well as an investor. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so before we start, if you're trying to pick this up for yourself, you can pick it up at hobbiesville.ca as well as sunnyhobbies.ca. This is by far the cheapest price that I've seen so far. I think they have them for around $800 shipped. And not only that, because they're located in Canada, all the US buyers don't pay taxes on that. So you're gonna be able to save your tax as well. And on top of that, you get an extra 5% off using Strictly 5. So that's an extra $40 off the case. You're looking at like $760 dollars shipped for a case of 25th rarity collection that's pretty much the best deal that i've seen so far you're saving the taxes and you're giving me a small kickback for using the promo code if you've already used the promo code at hobbiesville.ca all you have to do is just make a new account and that should renew the code for you but plug aside now let's get into my opinions on the set so first of all like you guys know i'm not really an advanced format player i don't know too much i know the basic staples but i'm not too sure about a lot of other things things what i am familiar with is older formats and this set has a lot of cards that cater to that but even without the older format cards i mean just looking at the set list there is so much gas that even me a person who's unfamiliar with the game can tell you like there's a lot of prominent cards here i mean dude there's like reprints of every single high-end staple from the advanced format we have ash blossom joy springs we're getting a secret rare reprint which is the original one that we've had but not only that we're getting the ultimate rare which is like not really an ultimate rare it's toned down collector's rare version i'm not sure how to explain it to you guys i covered it in my original 25th anniversary video but the best way i can describe this rarity to you guys is that there's like texture on the background of the card and then everything else has this super high gloss that makes the card look like it's almost laminated i'm a big fan of this for artworks that i really enjoy and the reason is because sometimes like when you've slapped so much glitter and stuff on the card you kind of lose a little bit of the artwork appreciation this happens a lot with things like for example like yara garasu i think that there's too much secret rare on that card where it kind of loses a lot for me and a lot of times for artworks that I really love I just enjoy a simple rarity like ultra rare or in this case the ultimate rare or collector rare so I'm a big fan of this rarity for cards that I really enjoy the artwork for like for example I would love the new card that just came out the dark hole dragon I would love that in a collector rare or this recently released ultimate rare because that's a high rarity of that card that is not like super glittery and definitely shows off the artwork which is what my favorite part about that card is right so i'm a big fan of these rarities and i'm a big fan of them being used on cards that in my opinion have gorgeous artworks so let's get into some of the cards so like i said there's ash blossom of joy springs there's the wing dragon of raw sphere mode some other notable cards that i saw was lava golem for example for time wizard format i mean shit lava golem is even used sometimes in this format right so <laughs> that's kind of crazy to think about but there's also lone fire blossom effect veiler this one i'm not sure about this decision because again we had the starlight rare version and now they're releasing the quarter century secret rare of this by the way if you don't know every single one of these cards that i'm naming will come not only as a super rare ultimate rare collector rare secret rare extra secret rare but it will also have quarter century secret rare as well so you can pretty much have your cake and eat it too with this set it is absolutely stacked there is so much gas in this set and in my opinion i think it'll age extremely well in the long term but anyway back to the set list we have effect veiler i i believe max c is being held out so that is an ocg exclusive card but one of my favorite picks for this set is tour guide from the underworld here we're getting a reprint of the original secret rare from extreme victory but we're also getting an ultimate rare a collector rare an extra secret rare so that's basically secret rare but with the border of the image as well as the border of the text being holographic as well and i actually really really like that rarity i think it looks fantastic so i'm a big fan of that i'm definitely going to be picking up every single version of tour guide because this was one of my favorite cards when i was growing up like i remember when this card came out and it was like two three hundred dollars it's so disgusting another artwork that i really enjoy is nibiru i know this is super playable so i'm gonna have to pay like a little bit of a premium for some of the higher end copies 
but again now we're getting like some serious gas behind this card we have like a lot of competitors we have the ultimate rare collector rare quarter century secret rare in the japanese version they got a holographic rare for this i don't believe we're getting that in the tcg but i think the quarter century secret rare should be more than enough to be the high rarity for this card we have blue eyes abyss dragon which is a fan favorite we have win the wind channeler we have eldlich the golden lord again i don't know a lot about the game but i know that this is an important card we're also getting the alternate art of this card another pick that i enjoyed the starlight rare of but now i'm not really a fan because they basically reprinted the starlight rare which is alpha the master of beasts i really wish they kept the starlight rares their own thing and i wish that they did not reprint them into quarter century rares man i mean if they just gave us ultimate rare collector rare and extra secret rare of this card i think most people would have been happy because they would have been able to get a copy for cheap that looks great without you know completely screwing over the older collector that invested in the starlight rare of alpha we of course have the iris sword soul we have masked hero dark law which is huge i don't know like would these cards debunk the ultimate rare because that card is dumb expensive man <laughs> dark law is super super expensive i think it's like two three hundred dollars i i don't know do you guys think that this extra secret rare or like the quarter century secret rare or maybe the ultimate rare or the collector rare would you know debunk the or original ultimate rare i actually don't think so i think the older original ultimate rare will always peak in rarity for this card in my opinion unless they come up with like an actual starlight rare another card that i'm super excited for is egyptian god slime obviously this is like an anime card and this card has only an ultra rare originally and i mean if you know anything about the game you know that if it's an ultra rare it's pretty much ready to tank in value as soon as the reprint comes out and in this case i definitely think that the original is gonna tank i definitely think think that you should be like letting go of that card as soon as possible but i think that quarter century secret rare will definitely be the peak rarity for this and, and i'm definitely gonna try and pick one up for the collection another card that i'm a big fan of is ancient fairy dragon we are finally getting another quarter century secret rare to add to the sino dragon set list we have stardust we have black rose and starlight as well as quarter century and now we have ancient fairy dragon i hope to god that they release the other ones man if they do it will be such an incredible set and it'll absolutely boost the promos as well as the tin that just came out in september we have baron de fleur we have galaxy eyes full armor photon dragon we have red eyes flare medical dragon this card is gorgeous and i think it's going to be amazing in collector rare as well as ultimate rare we also have Celine, in my opinion which is a gorgeous waifu card one card that really stands out to me here is change of heart i think this card has has a lot of potential as a quarter century secret rare but also as a collector rare and ultimate rare this card is gorgeous when it comes to the artwork and i'm a huge fan of the original moderators first edition but i think i could definitely use a quarter century secret rare of this i think the card is simplistic enough where the starlight rarity and the gloss and the glitter would suit it really well but also i think that the collector rare will make it pop quite a bit i'm super excited for this man and the secret rare extra a secret rare as well i'm gonna pick up every copy of these change of hearts man another one that i'm really excited about is reasoning reasoning man is if you play goat format you know how toxic reasoning is i'm a big fan of the card i don't really play the deck but i will definitely start building one if the main card that i use is gonna be like a quarter century secret rare i think that's totally badass i think before the best thing we had was like a common or a super rare which is like a huge 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 upgrade now big fan of reasoning as a choice for this this is the stuff that we need i would love to get a sangan i would love to get a magician of faith in like these high rarities man it would be so badass one other card that got completely shafted is reinforcements of the army man this card has been printed to oblivion like i have never seen another card get so many rarities like rhoda i know it's important i understand like the significance of it for older formats but man like they completely tank this card's value every single release like this is what like the 15th high rarity for this there's like a secret rare there's an ultimate rare there's a collector rare man there's so many of this card I, I don't know which one will be the highest rarity maybe quarter century secret rare i think a lot of people will go for that uh what would i choose man uh, 
like honestly i'll probably choose the quarter century as well i just can't imagine like choosing the original super rare i can't imagine choosing any of these other rarities once these ones come out especially if the card quality is good which we're going to be covering a little bit later on we have fossil dig i'm a huge fan of these cards like i love the ultimate rare from rds i think fossil dig here is going to be fantastic i'm probably going to pick some up for the collection i really like the artwork on this i love that archetype i think it looks really really fantastic and it's really unique when it comes to like the whole Yu-Gi-Oh card game we have both pot of desires as well as pot of extravagance both of which are extremely playable very very popular cards and they are going to get five rarities to each of them i think that that is a huge huge plus for a lot of players it's going to tank a lot of the older values down we have called by the grave dark ruler no more lightning storm like what is that triple tactics talent forbidden droplets pop prosperity like dude this set is so ridiculous man magician salvation i think that's an amazing collector card if you guys are looking to you know collect the dark magicians i love that they released a lost art recently and the fact that we're getting like a quarter century secret rare as well as an extra secret rare here compulsory evacuation device also getting a huge upgrade here i mean dude like this set is so crazy evenly match infinite impermanence okay you guys wanted my opinion man i'm telling you guys i think that this set is so stacked it's gonna age super super well i mean this is crazy man there's so much so much reprints here i, I think it's gonna be fantastic and you know not only that i just watched jobbers opening this morning for this set and the cards look gorgeous like they really pulled off these rarities extremely well the cards don't look cheap they look extremely high quality i mean dude they absolutely killed it like this set is insane it will age extremely well i have a couple of cases that i invested in i'm gonna set them back for a couple years i can easily see like a hundred dollars a box on this like easy no problem man it, it will do extremely well congratulations to anybody who pre-ordered if you haven't gotten yours you can still get it for under 80 dollars a box at hobbiesville.ca as well as sunnyhobbies.ca i'm partnered up with both both are extremely trusted and both of them ship extremely quick man use strictly five to get yourself 40 dollars off and support the channel save your money don't put it in the government's pocket keep it for yourself and support these local shops man but that's pretty much it that's my thoughts guys i think this set is a banger let me know your thoughts down below are you a player are you a collector do you see any cards in this set as a collector that you'd be interested in i'm definitely going to be getting ancient fairy dragon change of heart and lava golem let me know what you're going to be picking up if you enjoyed the video hit the like button and subscribe and if you want to support me further you can support yourself by picking up your own tcg accessories at strictlysealed.com that's it from me i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you learned something i'll see you in the next one peace